just work you turn. Oh, it's golden hour as well. Look golden at that. Look at this. It's got a little glow going on. Three girls. This makes a difference. This isn't never it? happens. Imagine <laughs> okay. it's always the last. It's always the last. Uh -huh. <laughs> the first time we've had girls, just yeah. just girls on the channel. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. If you knew my name is John Wilson and today I'm joined with the beautiful and lovely Lauren Williams and Samantha <gasps> Gardner. Hi. Yeah. Today we're gonna be doing like a girly QA. So I've put an Instagram story and asked for like girly style questions because I feel like I always spend so much time with the lads and despite the fact that we love them, we love them and you guys love them, it's nice to just be some gals and answer some gal questions. Yeah? Gal I'm pretty much the exact same to be fair. Yeah, I was going to say we, we couldn't be three more or Men three girls. less <laughs> girly girls. We are like the three manliest females <laughs> ever. So whether you're going to get an answer from a girl's perspective or a we'll not girl's best. perspective, I don't know, but we will do our best. Adriana and Sammy are a couple. <laughs> no. no. As a girl, how do you feel comfortable slash confident in the weight section of the gym? Oh, that is a good one. Very confident if it's my gym. If yeah. I go to a public gym, no. Yeah, I so like that, I think the question is like tips on how to feel more confident mm. so in the weight section. I would definitely say go somewhere you're familiar with first because mm. I'm the same as you. Like, if yeah, I go somewhere new, I'm like, oh God, like, I don't know what I'm doing. But go with someone who knows what they're doing for the first time as well. Like once, you, once you've been there and you've done it, like, I, I mean, I'm a personal trainer. I've got a qualification even the first time I go Are to you? a new gym. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, so. go on. <laughs> and even still, like the first time we went to the gym with Stoney, I was like, can you just t tell me everything to do? And the same with you, like yeah. you were helping me. Yeah. I think just don't go on your own the first time. I also think, um, this is just a personal one for me, like I have a plan of what I'm doing. Yes. So like you don't look like you're lost. wandering around and yeah. lost. Do you ever wish you had more girls in the group? <laughs> no. She's got me now. <laughs> <laughs> My answer to this is no, like I genuinely, we banner and joke about the fact that we're like laddie girls but we genuinely like I get on so much better with guys than I do with girls yeah definitely again yeah. I think it's a it depends on the girl but like girls like us who don't care and are very laddie and yeah. yeah I just tend to get on with them better are you all single yeah yes yes I've been for years and I probably will <laughs> love <Probably>. it <laughs> you're so free though you can do what you want yeah. you don't have to depend yeah. on anyone or yeah yeah it's great I love yeah. this life I don't I'm lonely <laughs> <laughs> Who do you fancy most out of Niall, Luke, <laughs> Ash or Ellis? <laughs> it's a popular question that's come up. Or, or like, have you ever had a crush on Niall, Luke, Ash or Ellis? No. Um, Sky, Sports can, <laughs> Sky Sports can confirm that I have never had a crush on Niall. <laughs> so, okay, you never had a crush on any of them? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Out of all of them. I know what you're gonna say. I don't think you do. I don't think you do. I think I'm gonna shock you. Alright, go on then. What? I have to say, I have to say, I have to... No. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh this is gonna go out. Who I find physically attractive. And I would actually like, I, I actually like two very different things. No, right, okay, so let's go. <laughs> Who do you think? Well, I'm gonna say I have to be ready. One. Two, uh, who do I think for you? Yeah. Alright. One, two, three. Nine. Donny. Alright. Alright. I'll take okay. that. Okay. I'll take that. Okay. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Luke is probably that like most attractive out of the group. Okay. Like to look at. Do you find attractive? <laughs> I don't do none of them. <laughs> That's a lie. She's lying. <laughs> Samantha. Everyone no, babe, there's always one person that, in a group that you're like, mm, actually. All of them. <laughs> All of them. All of the above. No, you're lying. See, she won't just give Huge us all the answer. Us. I actually scared. don't know. Uh, you answer Niall. Yeah, Niall. Easy. Everyone knows that mine's Ash. Niall. She votes for Niall. <laughs> First period story. Oh, mine's a good one. So I was I was late because of gymnastics, so I didn't come on until I was like 15. So everyone at school, there used to be this joke that I was like a man because I just didn't have a period. And then I used to do diving. And the first time I ever came on my period was the day I was going to dive in. And I remember standing oh. at the top of the stairs going, Mum, I've came on my period, like waving my pants at the top of the oh stairs. And she just literally gave me a tampon and went, there you go. And I was like, okay. And she was like, just get a mirror on the floor and off you go. 
that's one thing you don't get taught how to use one either. No, I no, the first time yeah. trying yeah. to use one, it was the most painful experience. Well, my, my mum had ones, yeah, without like the applicators as well, so it was literally just yeah, this right. thing. And I was like, <laughs> like looking in the mirror yeah. like, yeah. I don't think I used tampons till like, I was like, older. 17, 18. You guys had sport, but whereas I didn't, yeah. like I didn't need to wear a tampon. Were you like one of your first in the friendship group to come on or? Um. No, because so I was friends. also like quite small as well. Yeah. Like I wasn't, I was never like petite, petite because of sport or anything. But I was also quite small. I was think I was in year eight, right. or maybe year nine. So what, like thirteen? Yeah, fourteen. I feel like that's pretty normal, isn't it? Like that's yeah. Normal. My grandma Dorothy, <laughs> she spends every new year. She writes like she moves stuff over mm -hmm. from a diary. So she's got like. Eight years ago today, Niall caught his first Kovac. Like, she literally okay. writes stuff, oh, and I swear oh, down, like, Chana's first period is in that diary, yeah. <laughs> so I had, I went swimming. <laughs> I was, again, I was so young. So I had bikini bottoms on. I was on a period, obviously, and I didn't know how, like, I didn't use a tampon, so I didn't know how to stop it. So I put, like, two bikini bottoms on and thought that that would actually make a difference. I thought, oh, it's fine. No oh, one will see no. it. But I'm swimming, in, like, in water. Obviously, nothing was, if you're a girl, well, you probably kind of know, but like, yeah. you have a bath, it doesn't just come out. Yeah. It's not how it works. Like, follow your own trail. It just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen like that. Down the it doesn't. Lane. It literally doesn't. If anything, it just like sucks so up. So you, yeah. like, you were but... just swimming in two pairs of bikini bottoms. <laughs> yeah, like, but I, I, I was fully confident that the second pair, because of that, I was secure. <laughs> <laughs> I was not in. Like, pair, no, but two. Two. Nothing's coming out. From you. Yeah. On a scale of one to ten, how fit is Ellis? This was submitted by Ellis. Twelve, baby. Mate, he's a fucking great laugh. How fit is Ellis? I feel like being funny makes you fit. Is that where you were going with that? Uh, yeah, I see. No, I don't judge people on looks. This is the thing. You know when you showed me that picture of that guy earlier, and I was like, mm. like because I, you I, I don't appreciate him. good looks. I appreciate good person. That, that I am genuinely not that right. for you. Yeah. Uh, no, I am honestly. No, but I am the same. I I, I can appreciate. Okay. Physically okay. good looking. Um, 10 out of 10 Alice. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Love you Elle. What do you find the most challenging thing about being a girl? Wow. Emotional. All the time. I can't, damn speaking for me, like, but... Harm on, like harm yeah. yeah. Yeah, I definitely, so I don't have a period at the moment because I came off the pill, but I still have, like, the cycle. And I'm, I notice it in myself, like, when it's, I get... I cry at everything. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, why am I crying? <laughs> I'm not sad. I started the pill only recently, like a couple of months back, but before that, I, I'd get the same yeah. the same waves and it's yeah. so uncontrollable. Like, yeah. I'd be, I'd be, I'd call it work, but I'd be training, crying for no reason. I'm like, just, <laughs> like, I'm, I don't know why I'm crying. Yeah, like, just ignore me. Yeah, I'll have the happiest day ever and then some small thing will just, like, will so you really get me. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, I think I'm pretty lucky. Like, I never really had like bad period anything like yeah, heavy periods thing. cramps or like really really bad pmt or like hormones around my period like touch wood i've been really lucky on that sense although i did have a i did have a crying fit the other day didn't i and then woke up the next morning and then come on my period and we were like oh last <laughs> one period related then probably more aimed at you what how does like training affect your cycle and does your performance differ around different cycle points we're back we're back on a different we're camera should we let our battery <laughs> i'm running out of battery because i'm a worst vlogger silly silly vlogger the biggest thing is the weight fluctuation oh shit, so like yeah water retention coming mm -hmm. up to my period so i'm in a weight regulated sport if anyone doesn't know that and i go and make weight all the time and because i have to do it so frequently if a competition clashes with my cycle, it's like a week before I can put on two kilos of water. Shit, I didn't even yeah. think about that's that. Just, that's just water alone. So when I'm cutting weight for comps, it just doesn't come off. Yeah. Like, so you have to do extra or diet harder or something like that. So wow. Shit, I never even thought about that. that. Yeah, and that's the thing as well. It's not, it's not widely known. So it's because we're in a male... You have male... to plan that in when you're like picking your comps. No, or... if got to, you just got to do it. You can't really. That's so now you're on, now you're on the pill. Can you could you like take two back to back to kind of like yeah so i had a period just i had one that was due on the games so i don't have periods but i have the same season yeah, yeah. cycle so my fight day it was the same week as like my heaviest week so i had is it not nothing nor nothing or something 
I don't know what it is, but it's basically a tablet that delays it. Right. So I took that to delay it and delay the symptoms because otherwise, that week I weighed in for the games, I'd have been my heaviest and my moodiest. And yeah. Wow. Like I never even thought I know about it's that. Well, even the training, so like that week is horrible. I'm tired. Yeah. I don't want to do anything. Like, yeah. I'm so yeah. run down, but. Um, you just have to get on with it. You go on with it, yeah. That's but then equally, the week after you put it, it's <clears throat> so good. It's great. Yeah. You're like, yes, ready for it. So everything. if comp plans on that week, it's like. Yeah, it's great. The well, the Olympics was. Like, I literally did that. I planned yeah, it yeah. so that that was the week that I was flying. And yeah. It makes and a massive difference. Wow. That's mental. Oh. I never even thought of that. No. Okay, last question for this girl's QA. How do you get yourself motivated or stay motivated? Commitment. That's literally it. I'm not going to be motivated every day, but I've got a plan. I'll commit to it. I love that. Yeah, and like routine, same sort of thing. Like, okay. if you get into a routine of doing something and creating a habit, then you don't need the motivation because just you just do it. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. And do stuff you enjoy. Like, I think a lot of people with fitness and stuff, they're like, oh, I hate going to the gym. Well, if you hate it, don't go to the gym because you're not going to want to. Yeah. Whereas if you do yeah. find a sport that you like or... You know, getting fit doesn't have to be going to the gym. Or running. Or, or running, yeah. Ways. Like, yeah, I hate yeah, running, yeah. so I don't run. But yeah. I think motivation comes if you if you enjoy what you do. Yeah. So. Like my mum does stuff like Zumba. Yeah? Just like, anything. Could yeah. be anything. You just... Moving your body. Yeah. I know, I've got two. First one's a Niall Wilson special, which is um, momentum, not motivation. Ooh. Yeah. So you find like that. that you'll know yourself from your own habits that... You might be having a bit of a crap day or you don't really know where to get started but as soon as you do one thing then it snowballs yeah. and it snowballs and it snowballs and actually just building that momentum mm -hmm. keeps That's you good. doing the stuff yeah like keeps the snowball rolling down the hill and keeps you going um, and then my second one and i say this to anyone and everyone that i ever talk about this to is just like think about why you're doing it yeah. like have a have a why that is so strong that even when you don't feel motivated you still want to do it because you know right. why you're doing it. For some of you, it might be an Olympic gold medal. <laughs> <laughs> that may be me. Yeah. <laughs> For other people, it might be, it could be something so not on the scale of an Olympic gold medal, yeah. but that is your Olympic gold medal. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't have to be something that's it's huge. A qualification, or, a yeah, certificate. In results and, day. Yeah. Walking your daughter down the aisle, like mm -hmm. yeah. literally feel like somebody saying well done to you. The feeling of euphoria when you do something for the first time, it doesn't just have to be like major things, it mm -hmm. can be the smallest things. But as long as you've got that reason why you're doing it, always know where you're going and what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. love it. Love it. Love what a way to finish that video. Love right? a bit of motivation. <laughs> yeah, will be a motivation. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this has been insightful. Obviously, I've been slightly different answers. Um, I don't think I've ever spoken about periods with boys, so. I definitely have never spoken about periods, especially online. So this is first. Okay. Ah, exclusive. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Remember to like and subscribe. And remember, anything is possible if you just work. Work.